Hey guys, Antred, I'm here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and this is the Explosives Plus mod review part 6, and uh, in this part of the review, I'm going to be showing you guys the new bombs that have been added in the most recent update that came out just a few days ago. So as you can see in my inventory here, I have uh, the item called the Configurator, I have the Stick of Dynamite and the Wrench, because there are examples where I'm going to need to show some changes in that, uh, the Mega Nuke again, just to show some changes, the Repulsion Beam, the Missile Launcher, the Anti-Gravity Laser, uh, the inverter and the black hole bombs. So let's just go ahead and let's launch right into it here. So essentially what the configurator is, is it allows you to modify certain items that otherwise could not be modified. Uh, for example, the uh, the stick of dynamite. Like normally when you would just right click with it, you would throw it and it would blow stuff up. That's pretty much how that worked. But now with the configurator, if you right click on the configurator, you can modify the settings of things like dynamite. Uh, it doesn't work with a whole lot of stuff right now, but it's more or less just like a proof of concept that the creator added. So if I go ahead now, yeah, as you can see there, it did a much bigger explosion than it did beforehand. And I could, uh, you can do the same thing with regular options here. Like uh, if I right click with the wrench tool, I can enable and disable a custom sound. So for example, like this annoying sound. Tactical loop ready. Turn the key. Yeah, I can actually turn that off now, thankfully. I, I have a feeling that he may have watched my review or something and uh, heard me, you know, like mention how annoying that is. And I guess you can enable and disable advanced features and then you can uh, set the default explosion radius. I think that's what this is when you right click with an item. So uh, if I want it to be more destruction by default, I have to right. I And again, remember from the previous reviews, whatever option you want enabled is the one you don't want to show up here. So even though it says enable sounds here, they're actually disabled because clicking this would enable the sounds. It's really kind of weird how that works. But anyway, so I want the default one to show less destruction because I actually want more destruction to be enabled. So if I right click, uh, okay, you can't actually right click with the nuke itself because if you want, if you still want to modify things like the nuke, you still have to do this. So yeah, um, anyways, so the next one that I'm going to be showing you guys is the repulsion beam. Now this one, this one's a little bit weird. I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to just right click with it. Yeah, it's essentially a Nova bomb that doesn't have lag at all. Uh, so it, you know, it takes out the equation of, you know, like bringing the blocks together and stuff. And it just does the explosion part. So yeah, as you can see here, everything just explodes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave the mob farm alone for now because I'm going to show you guys something else here later. Let's do this with the tower as well. Boom. Yeah, there goes the tower. <laughs> so the next one that I'm going to show you guys here um, is the missile launcher. This one is a really interesting one, and I'm only going to show one uh, one setting of it, and I'll show you guys the other setting here at the end of the video. But if I right click on it here, uh, you can see the explosion radius, the normal radius, the mega you know the mega size radius, and then this stuff right here. And then I believe if I right click uh, with anything except for the wrench. So if I just right click with this here, you get a totally different set of options here. So I can uh, select the core. Basically what this is, I should go and explain, is that this is a, you know, your typical missile launcher. I can, uh, you know, I can set a missile to launch anywhere I want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the coordinates here uh, of this area. So what I'm going to do, so it's a negative 230. Let's see, negative 230 by 198 by 91. So let's try that. If I can even remember, 220 by 91 by 198. All right, let's see if I can remember that here, and then we will launch a missile at my statue. <laughs> okay, so let's do this here. Um, actually, before I do that, I want to make sure... I, I Yeah, I, I want to have the go home option enabled, because I don't want to have the go big an option enabled yet, because it does an absolutely crazy explosion. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and let's right click with this again here. Um, I believe it was, uh, let's see, negative 198... Let's see. Let's see if I can remember this here, because I honestly have no idea if I'm going to remember this. By 90, and then I believe it's by, what is it here? By, ugh, I just don't remember. I don't remember. Let's try negative 98. Let's launch it. Nope, that's not where that was. I totally got that wrong. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Let's wait for this to land here. So, yeah, I totally got that wrong, but... Okay, yeah, and you can see that it basically devastates the land. It just does an absolutely monumental amount of damage here. Okay, so I had to do negative 198. That's what I had to do. So I just completely screwed that up. So 230 by 91 by negative 198. All right, let's give that one more try, and then we are going to decimate our statue here. So let's see here. Negative 198, and then uh, I think the X coordinate is going to be 230. Let's try this. Okay, yeah, that seems like it's going to be a little bit more accurate. All right, hit the statue, hit the statue, hit the statue. It's coming down on the statue. It's coming down, it's coming down. Boom. 
<laughs> that absolutely decimated the statue. There's just, there's no longer a statue to, to be seen. <laughs> so anyways, the next one that I want to show you guys is the anti-gravity laser. And if I right click with the anti-gravity laser, it enables it and it will stay enabled until you, uh, until you right click with it again. So essentially what it does is it, it's anti-gravity. Um, it shoots the blocks that you're pointing at up into the air, up to a set point. So if I right-click with it again here, it's no longer going to be enabled. And uh, it shoots them up to a certain height limit. So And it just kind of reassembles them all here. So if I do this, you know, like a whole bunch here or something like that. Let me just shake my view around here. Yeah, you can see all the blocks that are coming up now. So that's essentially what that does. And uh, if you guys want to mess with it, feel free to because it really doesn't lag all that much. And wow, emails are just absolutely coming through like crazy in this video. But we will press on. Uh, so anyways, let me go ahead and let me hit load number two here and show you guys the two new bombs that have been brought in. And another thing that I want to mention as well is that the Nova bomb got recoded, and but I'm not going to be showing it in this video because there really isn't a whole lot visually that's different about it and it is still incredibly laggy. So uh, anyways, the inverter bomb works a little bit similar to the, uh, not the not the black hole bomb, but it works uh, pretty similar to the anti-gravity one, except it takes a set area of blocks and it will... Uh, It'll reverse them into the sky and then rebuild them. So, uh, yeah, as you can see what's going on here, uh, certain blocks at certain intervals, like you can see it's getting wider and wider here. It's bringing the blocks all the way up into the air and it is reassembling them. Um, it almost looks as if it's reassembling this like near perfectly, but I can assure you that it's not. Um, yeah, so basically it takes a spherical area and it reassembles it into the sky, but it doesn't ever reassemble perfectly because it ignores air blocks. So, for example, if I choose like, let's say a portion of my, let's go to the top of the tower here and we'll, we'll set a little bit of this off. Uh, you're going to notice that it's not actually going to reassemble the tower perfectly in spot uh, because uh, there's a lot of air in between all of the blocks here. So you're going to see as soon as that glass gets picked up, it's going to just reassemble right along the same layer as this glass. So yeah. So anyways, and then let me show you guys what the wrench options look like with this. You can enable a time limit. So if you want uh, this to be timed, you can set a time limit. Uh, so if I were to set this to 100, I believe it would take a lot longer for all of this to happen. So uh, let me do that here. Uh, let me set, l actually, yeah, let's keep it on more destruction here. Enable time limit. So l let me do like, uh, yeah, 100 time limit. I'm not sure if that's going to be 100 seconds or 100 ticks though. So we'll see as this goes off here. All right. Yeah, so it appears as if it's only 100 ticks. So you could set that to be as many ticks as you wanted and you'd be good to go. So anyways, uh, the last bomb that I'm going to show you guys before you show you guys the second missile launcher option is the black hole bomb. And this does exactly as the name would imply. Uh, it creates a black hole and it does a really good job of it as well. And if you look at it from the right angle, um, let me wait to see as blocks are being sucked in here. Yeah, see, there we go. Yeah, you can kind of see the black hole and everything that is being sucked into it here. And another cool thing to note as well, and this is the reason why I wanted to wait on messing up this mob farm. I'm actually really lucky this didn't get messed up, is because I wanted to show you guys what this does with mobs. Yeah, you can hear this is like a monstrosity of an area that you would never want to be in. Why did I ever make a mob farm that has cows and why are they all trying to go off into that corner? Are they, like, attracted to that chicken or something? I have no idea. Um, get out of the way, cow! See? They're always ruining everything. Just, they just need to go away. They just, look. Alright, check this out. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Even creepers and spiders and everything as well. Every mob that was right there is now gone. No more cows. Nothing. <laughs> Don't have to worry about them stupid cows one bit. All right now for the very last option for of the uh, missile launcher here So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it here I actually no, I need to right click on it with the wrench I believe and now I need to select the go big option and this is going to create an explosion of epic proportions and it may even crash my minecraft actually and every time i've practiced this if i if i launch it over here it will crash my minecraft but if i launch it over there it will not so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on it here and i'm going to set the coordinates to be zero yeah negative zero for the win and then i'm going to set the y coordinate to be this and then we're going to launch because I know that this is off in this direction because I know this map like the back of my hand here. Uh, yeah, so anyways, so as we wait for this missile to land here, it is going to absolutely decimate this area. And as you can see, it's really kind of weird. Like, 
uh, you notice the way that the explosive actually renders out the, the block updates, you would expect an explosion like this to crash computers, but it doesn't crash mine at all. Uh, and if I, I think I actually need to set the explosion uh, area to be a little bit closer, so I'm going to do that. So it's more or less like right here. And you're going to notice that it actually is not that bad. Um, let me go ahead and let me hit load one here. And let me set down a new Valkyrie missile here. So let's do this one right here. And I'm going to set... Oh, no, I don't need... I don't need two of them. All right. Um, let's right-click on this one here. And let's set it to be negative 100 by negative 100. And it should launch it pretty close, actually. Oh, wow. It's actually going to launch it almost directly on top of this uh, missile launch here. I'm going to destroy the missile launcher just in case. All right. There we go here. Okay. And you're going to see how the block updates here. You can kind of see, like, it does this sort of swooping effect on everything. And literally, next to no lag. I mean, for as big of an explosion as this is, like I said, you would expect this to do absolutely monumental amounts of lag. But it just honestly doesn't. I mean, you can see these two holes rendered without any lag whatsoever. And I know that I'm running an absolute beast of a computer. But, I mean, e you know, even while capturing, this should lag. But it doesn't. So... Um, yeah, I think I've pretty much covered everything that, uh, that came with the update. If I ended up missing a few things here or there, feel free to comment about them, um, because I read up on everything that I could and I didn't really see anything else. Um, so, yeah. Uh, okay, what I probably should show before the end of the video is with the configurator here, like I was saying before, you can configure, uh, dynamite. So, uh, okay, I think I actually did show this, um, but I'm just gonna do one just for fun. So, I've already actually shown this. Let's throw one for fun. Explosion radius of 100. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, God. It's knocking them all over the place. Oh, it knocked the dynamite into the hole. That's so funny. <laughs> So, yeah, um, anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this, uh, mod review, uh, for as long as it's been, and for as drawn out as it's been, uh, the Explosives Plus mod is getting to be really, really advanced, and I'm really surprised as to how well coded this is, because especially for something like, oh, uh, what was it, the, uh, the Black Hole Bomb and the, the Predator Missile, uh, those things are not, is it, uh, no, it's just called the Missile Launcher. For as well-coded as those things are, like, I'm just surprised that they don't lag at all, like, seriously, look at this. This should lag, but it doesn't. So anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed, uh, my name is Aminem, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.